every car has problems. Even with this. However, if the Hyundai Santa Fe is serviced in a timely and competent manner by purchasing original components, it will not be a lot of trouble with it. Let's talk about what could be otherwise. Santa Fe was sold with a 2.4-liter gasoline engine, 175 horsepower, and a 2.2-liter diesel engine, 197 horsepower. Both are praised for their reliability. Perhaps that is why their popularity is comparable. With a gasoline engine, however, it is warmer in winter. He was in great demand in the northern regions and in the outback, where the quality of the solarium is bad. Valuable diesel carries much more fun, for the most part due to an enviable torque of 440 newton meters. He, by the way, despite the greater power, and less gluttonous. If the gasoline engine has not yet had time to fully show its ailments, then the diesel engine has already been noticed in lameness on two points. As usual, fuel system problems closer to a run of 180 to 200,000 kilometers, where the high pressure pump appears. And to be honest, a burning check engine at this age may result in investments in a new high pressure fuel pump. And this is 50,000, no less. Another weak point is the injectors. These already suffer directly from low quality fuel and indirectly from chips flying from the pump. Their replacement or repair is an event financially even more unpleasant than replacing high pressure fuel pumps but the timing drive is reinforced concrete. Diesel noise is usually the result of wear on the chain tensioner group. Its replacement will cost about 15 to 20,000 rubles. Transmission. There are noticeably fewer cars with the six-speed mechanics on the market than with an automatic. By the way, not to say that the pen is more reliable. Rather, on the contrary, techies point to a problem with the failure of the dual mass flywheel. As a result, Many are perplexed how a simple clutch and flywheel replacement can cost under 100,000 rubles, despite the fact that the basket disc kit is not more expensive than 20. There are, of course, ways to save money, but still you will not like the final amount. Most often, the manual does not get along with diesels, so we recommend the option with the gun. What else is worth keeping an eye on when buying a used Santa Fe? Of course, behind the all-wheel drive system. The clutch connecting the rear axle has no structural problems, but for fans of driving, and especially off-road driving, the clutch may leak, which is a bad symptom. Shafts do not tolerate strong impacts, besides, dirt that has got under the stuffing box also accelerates their wear. And as a result, the car remains front-wheel drive, and a good specialist can only guess about this from the traction control system that has gone crazy on the roads. The result is 100,000 rubles from official dealers, to replace the handout assembly. Not come ILFO. Therefore, you need to monitor the all-wheel drive system at every MOT. And changing the bearing or bearing of the rear differential housing is not difficult and inexpensive. Suspension. If you think that Santa Fe bushings and stabilizer links are not consumables, like other cars, you are mistaken. Same story. However, these suspension replacements, like others, cannot be called expensive. The knock of the support bearing is treated by replacing it with a new one. The issue price is about 3,000 rubles. Out of economy, the front ball joints are changed separately from the levers. But this is also work, and you will have to pay at least 5,000 apiece. However, all this goes for a long time. They sat down to take care of the suspension on bad roads. Regular maintenance can also prevent problems with steering. The main thing is to monitor the integrity of the anther and the absence of leakage from the power steering pump. Electrician. Electrical problems, according to internet forums, happen, but we couldn't single out anything special. There are also few complaints about the bodywork, except for one problem. Very many owners already at the beginning of owning a new car changed the chrome parts of the trim. The coating was useless and bloomed. In cars of later years of production, this problem also occurs, but less often. Salon. But there are absolutely no complaints about the salon. There is more than enough space. Ergonomics captivates with its classic simplicity. You definitely won't have to be distracted by the search for buttons from the road. Checked. In addition, the finishing materials, although they do not look particularly premium, are very, even very durable. And you won't believe it. Salon Santa Fe does not creak. 